Good afternoon, Mainanal. The title of my today's presentation is Origin of In-Plane Exchange Bias in COPT MLFE Multilayer System with Orthogonal Anisotropies, a depth resolved study using nuclear resonance scattering. By orthogonal magnetic anisotropy, we mean that COPT layer has perpendicular magnetic anisotropy, whereas the FE layer deposited above it has in-plane magnetic anisotropy. This is a part of my PhD work which has been done under supervision of Dr. Dilip Kumar at UGCDA CSR Indore. First, let's understand what is exchange bias. Exchange bias refers to the shift of the hysteresis loop along the magnetic field axis when the antiferromagnetic ferromagnetic <coughs> bilayer system is field cooled below the kneel temperature of the antiferromagnetic layer. And this shift occurs because of the pinning of the ferromagnetic layer by the antiferromagnetic layer through the uncompensated spins at the interface. The phenomena was first discovered by Michel John and Bean in 1956. And according to their model for uniform magnetization reversal of a pinned ferromagnetic layer, the exchange bias field is given by this equation and this equation comes from the total energy equation of the bilayer system where the first two terms come from the Stoner-Wolfworth model for ferromagnetic layer and the last term comes from the antiferromagnetic ferromagnetic interface coupling. Uh, there are many systems uh, at present in which exchange bias have been observed but mainly there are two systems. First one is the conventional exchange bias system that is the antiferromagnetic ferromagnetic system and another one is the, un uh, we call it as unconventional exchange bias that is the hard soft ferromagnetic system uh, which are further uh, categorized into two categories where uh, in first case both the ferromagnetic layers have collinear magnetic anisotropy either out of plane or in plane whereas the, uh, in the second category uh, the <coughs> uh, soft layer and hard layer have orthogonal magnetic anisotropy. Today I will discuss mainly about this. The modification about uh, the main motivation behind this study was like in the literature it was shown that if we deposit a soft magnetic layer above a hard magnetic layer having perpendicular magnetic anisotropy initially at lower thickness the movements are oriented uh, perpendicular whereas with increasing thickness the uh, soft layer movements turn in plane and it looks like they are yoking the perpendicular uh, uh, domains of the hard magnetic layer. Recently in some of the papers paper it was also shown that if we apply a strong in plane magnetic field then a in plane exchange bias can be induced in this uh, films uh, because of in plane movements generated at the interface which pin the soft magnetic layer. However, most of the studies they use a uh, average magnetization technique which gives the magnetization of the whole layer and not uh, uh, <coughs> they do not probe the uh, spin orientation at the interface. Keeping in view we have uh, studied this uh, sample. And uh, for initial uh, studies, we have used this UHV system at our center with following facilities. And uh, first, we have deposited COPT multilayer using magnetron sputtering. And this is the uh, reflectivity curve corresponding to the, this multilayer structure with this uh, thickness and a platinum buffer layer of 305 angstrom. This is the po Moog in polar geometry, which uh, almost a square hysteresis loop with low, a very low coercivity shows that it, uh, the multilayer structure has very high perpendicular magnetization. And then above this layer we deposited Fe layer and uh, we monitored the growth as of using MOOC as a function of thickness. We observed that uh, up to certain thickness we did not observe any hysteresis loop. Then slight can uh, slightly canted hysteresis loops were obtained which further developed into square hysteresis loop as the function uh, as the thickness increases. Then if we plot the CAR signal as a function of thickness we observed that around 40 angstrom layer was strongly pinned by the COPT multi uh, layer and does not participate in the magnetization reversal in the applied magnetic field range. And if, if we observe all the hysteresis loop, uh, the hysteresis loop is symmetric with respect to the field axis that is uh, it does not show any preferential pinning by the hard magnetic layer. Uh, we have also done read measurement before and after deposition of the Fe layer and we observe that the film is polycrystalline in nature with, uh, high, uh, with high texturing. As far as COPT multilayer is co uh, concerned, the, it has uh, texturing along 90 degree uh, to the uh, plane with triple one texturing which uh, further confirms the perpendicular magnetic anisotropy of this uh, multilayer structure. Then we anneal this uh, sample and we observe that the coercivity first decreases up to 200 degree centigrade but at uh, 250 degree suddenly there was an increase in coercivity which may be because of, inc uh, which, uh, maybe because of two reasons. Uh, it may be because increase in roughness because of the diffusion of the multilayer or there may be in-plane movements generated in the interface which pin the Fe layer. So we did X-ray reflectivity measurement as a function of temperature and we observed that at 250 degree centigrade the uh, multi-layer structure was still maintained which is visible from the black peak and we observed that there was a decrease in interface roughness. Hence increase in interface roughness cannot be the reason for increase in the coercivity. So other reason may be because there are in-plane movements which pin the 
FE layer which results in increase in the uh, coercivity of the uh, multi layer. So then we anneal this samples at various temperature in presence of uh, field and we observe that 250 degrees centigrade there was a shift in the hysteresis loop that is the film exhibits exchange bias that to in plane. Uh, so this may be because with the uh, application of the field uh, there was a preferential uh, in plane movements which were generated at the interface now have a preferential direction of pinning which uh, results in this exchange shift. Uh, but in order to probe further we have prepared uh, this multi layer structure uh, with iron 57 at the interface and did nuclear resonance scattering. Uh, since this technique is very sensitive to the isotope layer even of uh, very small thickness. So it can be used as a depth dependent technique by where we can have a, a small uh, marker layer and we can change the position of that marker layer and give the magnetic orientation at that uh, position. It, uh, this uh, technique is also has a direction dependent of the magnetization with respect to the polarization vector and hence it can uh, give exact information of the orientation of spins at the interface. So uh, in, uh, in our structure there was also a, a waveguide formation because of the standing wave created between the top platinum capping layer as well as the uh, top platinum of the COPT multi layer. Uh, this was used because in order to increase the uh, nuclear resonance counts because uh, due to formation multiple scattering due to formation of a standing wave. The formation of standing waves were further confirmed through the contour plot and we observe that at q is equal to 0 0.087 angstrom the uh, there is a uh, node formation at the iron 57 interface and this which was further confirmed through a dip uh, before the critical angle of the film and when we did nuclear resonance reflectivity we observed that at this point uh, there was a sharp increase in the nu uh, nuclear resonance counts and hence we did all the measurements at this point. Uh, the, uh, the new, then we did the temp, uh, nuclear resonance spectra of various uh, annealed samples in presence of field and the direction of field was uh, in which we had annealed the samples was kept along the direction of the polarization vector of the incident beam and we observed that the as prepared uh, samples had uh, perpendicular orientation whereas at 250 degree centigrade uh, the movements rotated uh, net magnetization was rotated by 15 degree which shows that there was uh, some in plane movements were generated and that too along the direction of the annealing has this show uh, con further confirms that the exchange bias uh, origin of the exchange bias was because of the unequal movements which were generated at the interface along the direction of the annealing field which results in the exchange bias in this system. We have also uh, done the depth dependent study where uh, like we have changed the position of iron 57 marker layer in one case we have kept it at the lower interface whereas in the other case we have kept it the uh, top interface of the iron layer. And we observed that the in the case in which iron 57 was at the lower interface uh, when we applied field uh, uh, orthogonal to the direction of the polarization uh, of the uh, incident wave vector uh, uh, it was uh, difficult to move this uh, spins in the direction of the applied field uh, as compared to the uh, uh, case when the uh, iron 57 layer was at the top interface like uh, it shows that the uh, FE movements at the interface were strongly coupled as compared to the uh, FE movements which are away from the interface. Hence the conclusion at low thickness of the soft ferromagnetic layer movements of FE layer are aligned perpendicular whereas for thickness beyond the exchange layer movements of FE layer rotate in plane. There exists a strong coupled layer at the interface which does not participate in the magnetization reversal and multi layer with orthogonal anisotropy does not have exhibit exchange bias as the deposited state of any thickness for soft FE due to COPT multi layer that remains in single domain state. And when we anneal the film presence of in plane magnetic field, the multi layer exhibits exchange by due to formation of unequal magnetic closure domains at the interface. And then uh, the movements which are away from the interface rotate at low field, whereas uh, as compared to the movements which are at the interface because of the weak coupling by the COPT multi layer. Uh, these are my acknowledgements. Thank you.